So yes, guys, the Labor Cup is here. Federer's last dance, sadly. We're not here to talk about that. We're here to talk about our own Labor Cup. And this isn't something we threw together on a whim. This is something we did weeks ago, planning it on Labor Day, and we called it the Labor Labor Dirty. Um, as the name suggests, we held it on Labor Day. Eight of us came out, roll the picture right now, ranging from a 3-5, 4-0, and a 4-5. Yeah, so each team had four people, and everybody got to play each person once. Um, if you were playing your seed, you played a full set to six games, and if you were playing anyone else, you played a fast four with add points. It was a crazy time, a good time. Join us now, let's recap some of the footage, and we'll tell you just how the day went. Let's do it. First match, uh, I was playing Charles Wally, their number one seed, and I remember being super nervous and wanting to do well for my team. Uh, we threw you into the gauntlet off the get-go, didn't we? You squared off against the number one seed? Yeah, but I was... I played pretty well and I got a game off him. You did, and you did a good job of handling his pace. Certainly a lot of pop on, on his serve, especially since he was fresh. <laughs> yeah, but I was fresh too. Dang it, that boy had everything, just lacked the finish. So on the other end of the court, uh, the one seed is red against the blue four seed. I uh, believe this was a pretty straightforward match. Yeah, I actually didn't get to watch this one because I was playing at the same time. Uh, yeah. But I was I was so locked in, I didn't even know what was going on. So it was four zip, four zip, but uh, four one. Then, as you said, you snuck a game against them. Chip and charge, baby. This is the two seed in blue. Yours truly, the California Condor, against uh, the number three seed for red. And this guy was just super consistent. Um, I'm really glad that I didn't have to play him because he definitely would beat me. Yeah, he was um, a little bit tricky, but in the end. Oh, take me out wide. How about that hardcore slide, big slide? Yeah, I felt that three days later. Uh, to be frank, I'm still feeling it. <laughs> I would get away 4 1 victory for uh, Blue. And the, uh, this is on the far side of the court. This is uh, Blue Team's counter puncher, so literally the exact same guy as Chris. Yeah, stay tuned for that matchup uh, later in the video. But Birdman taking it away for Team Red and staying true to his name, taking flight, pushing balls out of the air. Like scrambling across the net. Like he, he loves the net. Yeah, he told me um, his strategy, like he just wants to serve big and get to the net and poach. So I, 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 don't quote me, but I believe he ended up winning 4-1. So up to that point, all seeds had held, had held, and we were dead on. I would, yeah, look at that. A frozen sick, rope. A sick pass. And, and I don't doubt that Charles had a really easy time handling Chris. Oh, feathery touch. But on the other side, it was iron on one side and silk on the other. Just chewing up that return. Yep. We had a frozen rope and followed it up with a sledgehammer from that one feet on red. Got him. A little bit of guile. Uh, do you recall the score in this match? Um, I don't. I don't. Was I watching? Okay. Yeah, I think it was probably four zip. Four zip. Light fist. If you did get a game, don't pull it against us. But we <laughs> think it was four zip in favor of the uh, the one seed. Yeah, in favor of the one seed. And like he just knew he could he could handle it. Okay. Light fist got that one. Um, right. Uh, moving on. It was the two seed here, Birdman. We know him well. Against the four seed, a, a man that goes by the name Two Bombs, and uh, what do you know, Birdman doing a little serve ball. Yeah. <laughs> Like, uh, what else is new, but... A um, little backhand battle, huh? Backhand action. And a dose of his own medicine. Yeah, right 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 him. Him. Uh, Birdman. This matchup, as you can serve out why Caleb got there. I really wanted to beat Caleb so bad. One, I've been trying to get a, a real match with him for months. Since been denied. So this was my opportunity to prove that I was worthy. And... Yeah. Everything in line up, just that last <laughs> finish thing into the net. But I, I think he held pretty early and then broke me and then held again. So I, I did get a game, but you I don't really remember when I got the game. Picking on my one handed backhand, unfortunately for you, it was up to the challenge, but unfortunately for you, <laughs> so were you. Smothering it, um, but I get the last lap. S and V, I wanted it. Zeg Z <laughs> ended up uh, taking that one. Was like four was one. Like there. 
Rob, Chris has changed, Cardio Chris is the guy on the baseline. He's changed his shirt multiple times. He's supposed to be Team Red. Yeah, so he's gonna be slapped with a hefty fine for breaking, uh, yeah, he's breaking the league protocol. Yeah, you know, there's me again. And he first liked this. I'm my arch nemesis. Red. I wanted to beat him so bad. I like, so, I think this highlight might have gone my way. He, he definitely, he has my number. So this is, keep in mind, the three seed for red just beat the four seed for blue and conversely. Oh! oh Jackalantra. <laughs> look, look at me nodding my head like, oh yeah. I meant to do that. <laughs> oh, and your net play. But I couldn't do it consistently and I lost one four. So you're saying this highlight reel is not to be taken. Yes, yeah, not to be taken with, seriously. Uh, not but this match, this was a freaking <laughs> doozy. So again, all seeds in hell, no upsets. I'm starting to get deeper into the day. This is about what, one o'clock and you started at eight? Yeah, it was a long day. Um, and all the seeds had held, and I think Charles was up a break. Yes, and but uh, speaking of Charles, his stamina was beginning to betray him, and he was getting run ragged. But he got to everything on that point, just just the last one. Maybe, yep. Maybe should have called it quits a little early on that point. Save some action. Look at that. Uh, he was getting his tongue run out. The, the net coverage on this guy, he's got a, a vulture-like wingspan, Birdman. And this was a good matchup for you. Um, not that I thought you could beat it, but just like a great matchup to watch. I bet you guys had some good highlights. It was fun to play uh, a player that was superior in skill. Uh, the one seed, here we go. A jumping forehand on the run. Un unorthodox, to say the least. Ah. No matter what I threw at this kid, he was just throwing it back at me. And you guys are moving it around. Oh, oh. Yeah, I just lost control. Yeah. What do you wish you did differently on that shot? Oh. No, I'm retired. <laughs> Got him there. The jack and head dropper. <laughs> so, you know, it's like I could kind of hang with him, but he was just clear cut, head and shoulders better than me. Did you ever feel like you had uh, a window in the match? Or... I was up a break. Oh, you were. But I couldn't consolidate it. He broke me right back. Actually, matter of fact, speaking of, I believe this is break point. Oh. Dirty. Oh, so you broke him there. Yes, uh, but as I said, the break was thrown right back in my face and we would be on serve with man 67. Likes hitting with pace. Yeah, dude, he was just dragging me through the mud with his pace. Bam, off the clash. Yeah, that was a pretty slow approach shot. I'm not surprised he beat that up. But I thought we were doing two points uh, a match. This yeah. is becoming a seriously hefty montage. Yeah, what the heck? I knew this was going to happen. Who's is it? A montage of the whole day from everyone else and there's just like 100 points. Ah, yeah. who's the man behind the editing? <laughs> and here's me again. Oh, this was the four seed matchup. Um, so at this point, everybody had held except for Birdman beat their number one. So I knew I had one point to play with, mm -hmm. but I really didn't want to cough up that lead for my team. And I had lost every match 4 1 during the day. And I just, I remember wanting to win this so bad. Uh, we were pretty like evenly matched. Yeah, that was a good rally right here. Yeah, this was a pretty good rally. And winner, winner, yeah, yeah, yeah. I just pulled them out pretty wide, but like we were breaking each other back and forth. I think I broke to go up two zip, and I started to think, okay, I got this. Then he broke me right back, held, and he might have broken again uh, to take a to take a short lead. Um, in the end, uh, we were we ended Ooh, up getting tied at top of the corner. Oh no, I took it six four. He was he couldn't serve it out, or he couldn't serve to stay in the match at four five, and I took it six four. Dirty. So it was a. Momentous opportunity for you to be a scapegoat, but yeah. at last you held your nerve and yeah. got the dub. And the whole day was, um, yeah, it was just happening. So these are the three seeds. Again, Cardio Chris breaking dress code, going in black, but he is uh, the three seed for red. <laughs> Mirror image of his. Mirror image, image of his. Other. And he was a late addition. He wasn't supposed to be in the tournament, but someone pulled out, and I don't think anyone had even met him before. Yeah. They they got the record for the longest rally of the day. I believe they've knocked 32 shots in one rally. These guys were just, I mean, they weren't necessarily haymakers, but they were just slugging each other back. And forth. <laughs> they were stuck in the mud, just spinning wheels, <laughs> no traction, nobody could get ahead. A cardio Chris living up to his name, getting there. But, um, you know, despite winning that point, he would ultimately lose the mm. set. So, Johan and Blue would stay within touching distance one point away. I'm not surprised. Here we are, uh, the culmination, baby, the two seeds in the final hours of this tournament. And you've beaten Birdman pretty consistently as of late. I, he has the head to head on me. It pains me to say that on my own channel. But um, I have gotten a couple. 
convincing, dare I say, convincing pictures over him as of late. Not convincing to me, Birdman. So, again, and it was. Ah! Oh, come on, you slug! Move! <laughs> Yeah, it was. I was up five to a double break. Just had to serve it out, handle my biz. And, and during this match, Charles was playing on the other side of the court, and Caleb yelled out, "Charles, both of us need a win to stay in this." So this was like a super pivotal matchup right here. Right, we were up a break. It was. It was conceivable. Yeah, the the comeback was there to be had. All I needed to do was just string together four lousy points on my own service game. Nice. And these, these highlights would suggest I did that, but <laughs> again, it's just a gut gut wrenching to say that I would lose in a tie break. Brutal. Six seven. We don't have any of those points though, do we? Four seven. Only, only so so they, I don't know the SD card overheated and all of that put in <laughs> I'm gonna roll with that story. But okay. In the end, Red would take it. I had to take the picture, uh, photo credit to me. But uh, yes, my friends and rivals were laughing at me. It was great. I was like, it meant a lot. It was one of the best days of the summer, and I was happy that our team came away with a win. It felt like there were real stakes. Indeed. Yeah. So if you enjoyed this footage and thought it was quality tennis, just wait till next week. I got the top 10 points of the day coming out. And there's a bunch of really good stuff on there. There's a bunch of really good points. Enough to send you into tennis euphoria. Yeah, so, I was I was giddy as I was watching some of them. <laughs> I'm featured, I believe, more than once, but he may have made a top five appearance. Oh, oh, really? Yeah. So, um, anyways, consider subscribing to the channel. It mean a lot. Like the content, but whatever you do, remember that a trashman tennis is all about the tennis trash we've been. We'll see you next week.